I present for your examination Jeremy S. Jeremy came to us some months back and explained that he had been born blind and was now wondering what it was like to see and if I could explain this to him. Where does one begin? The visual system has the complex task of reconstructing a three-dimensional world from a two-dimensional projection of that world. How could I convey the concept of light, refraction through the cornea, photoreceptors and neurons in the retina, massive signals to the brain's visual cortex by way of the optic nerve, image, depth, color, movement, Words cannot convey these visual perceptions with their psychological manifestations of visual information. It is simply impossible to describe this wonderful sense without actually seeing. I was without hope and about to inform Jeremy that his request was simply unattainable. It was then that a complete miracle occurred. I was informed of a tragic death where a man had died and the deceased had offered the science his eyes as a donation, even to be reused if possible. And further, these eyes were perfectly preserved. I began to consider if they could in some way be a replacement to help Jeremy comprehend what he so desperately desired. Through an exhaustive examination, I began to see that the donor's eyes were a perfect match to Jerry's, only without flaw, these eyes could see. And while conducting the necessary background research, I discovered that the donor's highest desire was to give the gift of sight to another, thus releasing him from his restrictive world of darkness. I was humbled and fearful to be given such a superior and extraordinary task to introduce Jeremy to his new world of light. Because of the uncommon methods, a special operating theater was constructed, in which little or no light was admitted for the three-day procedure. Astonishingly, all the phases were executed perfectly. The substitution is now complete. Jeremy has fully recovered, and we are about to witness his first realization of the sight he has so long desired, yet never experienced. Jeremy, for the first time, will see the marvelous bird in flight. Witness the mystery of the baby's perfect hand. Not only will he feel our Earth's sun, but he will observe its radiant glory lighting up his new world. He will gaze into a new night filled with brilliant and distant points. No longer will he grope in the daylight and stumble in his world of touch. No more shame at holding the hand of his unseen guides to help perform his menial tasks. From now on, he will be guided by the hand of the new light. And now, the time for Jeremy's freedom has come. Jeremy, slowly open your eyes and prepare to come out of the darkness. No thanks. You cannot open them? No, I, I don't want to. I don't understand. The world is waiting for you to discover it. Birds, trees, mountains. Yes, I believe you. I'm just no longer interested. But the donor, this man willfully chose to give you his own sight and you refuse to accept his gift. Uh, I tell you what, I'll really think about it. <laughs> Very well, then we are done. What more can we do? This is the world you choose! Oh. 
the light shines in the darkness but the darkness has not understood it one cannot assume that when sight is offered to the blind that they will choose to see does this mean we should not try on the contrary there are still many who desperately seek this light that will set them free but where are the doctors where are the messengers who will work who will help to bring the blind out of the darkness. <laughs>